Okay, so this is the backyard. I got cut off early because I was receiving, for, receiving a phone call. So far, the backyard is pretty much intact. Again, it looks like about an inch of snow has fallen back here. Of course, over here on this outdoor table, we're going to have much more because we have the ice influence from the roof falling down here. So I want to say this looks like a slushy accumulation kind of mix that's happening right here. So this is a slush. So not too bad. Uh, when you look at the rooftops on the garage, it looks like as if there was just an inch. This looks like an inch of snow right here, so it's not that bad. It's very hard though, because it looks like it fell as a mix early. Of course, during 4 o'clock, we had a lot of snow, a lot of uh, mixed precipitation that had fallen earlier. So, so far, good, so good. The cars have like an inch on them so far, and this is 8.40 p.m. right now, so that's really not as bad as as we thought it was going to be. Of course, the storm still has another six to eight hours to go because they're expecting the storm to pick up at around 12 midnight to 1 a.m. So we still have a long ways to go with this. But so far, so good. Of course, the North Shore, as I've said earlier in the previous video, they've already had 10 inches somehow. I guess it really depends on where you're located. This is why we always say it's very difficult to forecast these storms in the Northeast because you just don't know where and when and how these storms are going to happen. I mean, the computer models can only say so much. It really, you really got to wait till the actual event to occur as it's happening. Now casting, they call that, when you forecast the weather as the events happen. That's basically what you got to do to really get an accurate forecast. I mean, the computer models did a good job predicting that the storm is going to be coming here. And it pretty much did come. So we're seeing winds right now gusting in the upwards of 35 to 40 miles per hour. You know, these are wind gusts. Of course, the sustained winds are around 25. So I think the power is going to remain intact. I don't expect any power outages to happen on the South Shore. North Shore, apparently where there's thunder snow reported, that could be a different story. Maybe they'll have, you know, power outages up there. Port Jefferson Station. That is really, that is the blockbuster right now. They have around 12 inches that have already fallen over there. So the snow line was kind of like in a diagonal, I guess, like a northeasterly kind of direction with the, with, this, with the rain and snow line. Clearly over here on the south shore, Baldwin, the town of Hempstead, not bad. Only about an inch has fallen on the ground so far. So this is very good news. So, so far, so good. The storm is expected to pick up at around 12 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some cars are passing on the road right now. You know, they're passing pretty fast too, you know. They're not really taking it easy because the roads are pretty passable, as you can see. But over here, you can clearly see that slushy mix. Like this is ice right over here that my foot is under. So it's about an inch of ice and slush that has fallen over here. So, so far, so good on that. Lights are on. That's good. Snow reflects lights, so it's very bright out here. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a different landscape. When you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be very bright out, you know, with all the snow accumulation and all that. So, so far, one inch, not even one inch has fallen here so far, and it is around 8.45 p.m. So, that's going to change dramatically, they're saying, by 12 a.m., you know, so we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Hopefully it's not as bad. So that's basically it for this update at around 8.40 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, February 8th, 2013. Another update will come at around maybe 12 a.m. I'll see if I can come out here if it picks up. But so far, so good. This is quite a lull in the system compared to what we were dealing with earlier when it was raining and snowing at a rate of two inches per hour. Clearly that was in Westbury. Over here in Baldwin though, looks like we've been spared so far.